Hi, welcome everyone. It's me, Lori, from Inner Goddess Tarot. So welcome. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different today. By popular demand, today I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the gem of my tarot collection, my copy of the Tarot of Prague. So I'm going to talk about it very briefly, show you a few images, and you can see what you think, if it's something that you'd like to pursue adding to your collection. And let me uh, forewarn you, it is not so easy to get your hands on this deck. The one that I have in particular, there was a limited number created, um, but they're still out there floating around, so you might get lucky. I found my deck in a really wonderful store here in Toronto called The Hermit's Lamp and the owner was having a special sale of like a bunch of rare decks, uh, some not so rare, some rare decks for one day only. So my sister and I went there first thing in the morning, <laughs> we were there beating the door down, uh, ran in, targeted it, spotted it on the shelf just sitting there with all the other decks and grabbed it. And then I proceeded to carry it around for at least an hour deciding, justifying the spend. <laughs> and my sister the whole time saying, are you crazy? Of course you have to buy it. Don't even think about it, just buy it. And actually the owner of the Hermit's Lamp had priced it very reasonably, so I was very lucky. But anyway, without further ado, so here's the Tarot of Prague. I'll show you uh, the presentation of the deck is really stunning. So you can see it's in a cardboard case, uh, almost like a, the binding of a book. And there we go and it is closed with these lovely gold ribbons here. Okay, so it's a little bit delicate. I feel like it's a bit unwieldy. This is certainly not something I would carry around in my bag, you know, but it's a beautiful presentation. And on the back it explains that the Tarot of Prague, um, it's a fully illustrated tarot deck with the 22 majors, 56 minors, um, and the, all the imagery or the, the artwork that's used is based on artwork and sculptures, architecture of Prague. So um, that being said, uh, I will just say that this deck is very easy to use for someone who's familiar with the Rider Waite Smith system. It's certainly not just a copy or a clone of the Rider Waite Smith, but uh, there are enough similarities to make it very recognizable and also the imagery I think has been very carefully selected to be evocative to evoke the same response that you would get from the Rider Waite images in many cases so it's very it's very friendly to use for someone who's familiar with the Rider Waite Smith. So I'll just open up the case and show you the deck here. So as I mentioned this is a limited edition that I have there were only 3500 copies made mine is number Three zero three nine two and signed by the creators here, so you can see. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, and so the deck was created by Karen Mahoney and Alex Ukolov, and I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. And it's really stunning. So that's the the case, and you can see actually in the case the the little white book is actually bound into the case here. So I haven't managed to get a copy of the larger book that goes with the deck, which I really would like to, but I just haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. But it comes with enough basic information to get you started and has a few spreads in here as well. Advice on how to do a reading, has some traditional spreads and also a particular one for the deck called the Prague Threshold Spread. So it's a really nice five card spread that you can get started on that right away. So then the deck itself. So. I'll just show you a few of the majors to start. So as I say, it, it follows a, the Rider Waite Smith system with strength as eight. And the cards actually, they are all labeled. You can see the fool there with it at the bottom, but they're not numbered, which is interesting as well, that decision, why that decision was made. So you can see that's the fool. I find the magician particularly powerful as well very evocative of the of the symbolism that we're familiar with but really a powerful image and conveys that as above so below pose really beautifully and I'll just show you let's take a look at one other one to see if uh, you can get the idea so yeah let's see we have the hanged man is a particularly stunning one as well so I mean the imagery there's some there's some differences here but they're very very easy to get your head around just from the first first glance of the deck. And yeah, actually here, I'm going to show you one more that's very powerful here. Uh, well, two. <laughs> okay, so here's the tower. 
So you can feel that feeling of explosion, of upheaval, of things being turned upside down, but a little bit different in appearance. And then the very soothing star. So a little bit, again, different imagery, but you can really get the feeling that uh, you're familiar with there. Okay, so then the, the minor arcana follow the usual suits. So first we've got wands, and I'll show you just so you can get an idea of the visual. Here's the ace of wands. So you can see it doesn't actually say ace, but it's got the A in the corner, and the imagery is something that we're familiar with as well. So then that, that's an example of wands. And I just want to show you, I found the Eight of Wands really powerful too. Because you can see, look at that Eight of Wands. It really conveys that feeling of swift moving, messages flying in. So I mean, I don't think anyone would have any challenge picking up this deck and reading with it who's familiar with, with tarot at all. And then, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Then of course we have cups. So let's see if I can take a look at, show you... I think the Two of Cups is a particularly charming one, so I'll give you a look at that one. So Two of Cups. So again, we're following similar imagery here. And then let's take a look at the sword. How about one of the swords? Yeah, this one I found um, very powerful as well. Have a look at the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so again, it evokes that image of anxiety, sorrow. Uh, you know, it's not the same scene that we have on the Rider Waite Smith with the, the person who can't sleep, who wakes up in bed holding their head, weeping, you know. But we still immediately get that feeling there. And what have I missed? So, uh, pentacles. I don't think I've shown pentacles yet. So let's see one that I, one that I particularly like here. Yeah, this is a good one. This, so it shows you the difference in the artwork. So here we have the two of pentacles. So you really get that feeling of having to juggle things, manage your resources, have a lot of things on your plate. But you can see the difference in, in the even just the kind of artwork that's used in this one. And say, for example, um, one of the majors, you know, very different sort of feeling and artwork throughout. So, but the overall theme is very consistent and very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and I'll just show you, okay, here's the back of the card as well. So they are, as far as I can see here, yeah, they could still be, they're slightly different, but I think if you're concerned about showing reversals from the back, that this would, you'd really have to look quite keenly at it, so it works well in that way as well. So that being said, as I say, I personally would like to know more about each image like where the artwork came for each piece and I believe that is more fully explained in the companion book so if anyone has a companion book <laughs> they would like to sell to me let me know please message me in the comments below and again, as I said before, I'm, I'm going to do a few of these videos where I show you decks from my collection so you can decide if it's something you want to add to your own collection. And the next one that people have voted on is the Witch's Tarot, so I'm really happy to do that one next. But if you have another deck on your mind, please tell, let me know in the comments below. So if I have the deck, then I'm happy to sh give you a look at it. And if I don't have the deck, then it's a very good excuse for me to go out and buy it. <laughs> so please feel free to make any suggestions at all about any decks that you'd like to get just a really sneak brief peek at. Okay, so in summary, the Tarot of Prague is stunning. The presentation is beautiful. It's something very unique and a lot, I'm overwhelmed by the effort that went into the creation of this, the care to detail and the very careful selection of images and the way that they are put together in this deck. I uh, highly recommend it if you can get your hands on a copy. If you're familiar with the Rider Waite Smith symbolism, you can pick up this deck and start reading with it with no problem. And if you're a professional reader, I guarantee your clients will be overwhelmed by the beauty of this deck. But then you might have to decide if you're going to let them shuffle it or touch it. <laughs> because generally I, I let my client or I want my client to shuffle the deck when we're doing a reading, but I have to admit, I don't let anyone else play with, with this deck except for me. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please visit my site at innergoddesstarot.com and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Bye.